Question 13. Um, we have a right angle triangle ABC here and we're told that AC is 6 centimeters and AB is 13. We're asked to work out the length of BC correct to three significant figures. So this is our classic Pythagoras question and when you're dealing with Pythagoras we know that the hypotenuse which is the longest side h squared equals the sum of the two other sides squared. So in this case uh, 13 squared should equal 6 squared plus b squared. 13 squared is 169 6 squared is 36 plus b squared so I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides that will give me 1 3 3 equals b squared so to get b we need to do the square root of 1 3 3 which equals we need a calculator for this the square root of 1 3 3 gives us 11.53256259 to three significant figures is going to be 11.5 11.5 slightly uh, less algebraic way of doing it we're looking for a short side um, looking for the short side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both numbers I'm going to subtract and then I'm going to take the square root so you might have seen that in a previous video um, second part another triangle PQR it's right angled also PQ is 17 P sorry PR is 17 PQ is 25 we're asked to work out the size of the angle RPQ R, P, Q, which is this angle in here. I'm going to call it X, the angle X, to one decimal place. Um, and what we need for this question is we need to understand trigonometric ratios or Sokotor. I'm sure you would have heard of this before. So, in relation to this angle, this side must be the adjacent side, and this side is going to be the hypotenuse. So we got adjacent and hypotenuse. Which of these trig ratios are we going to use? Using A and H together, it must be cosine, C-A-H. So let's just write down that relationship cosine of the angle x will equal the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Now we know what they are. The adjacent is 17. The hypotenuse is 25. So cosine of x is 17 over 25. That means x will equal the inverse cosine of 17 over 25 so I'll take with the calculator I need the inverse cosine so I'm going to hit shift cosine there it is there inverse cosine 17 over 25 close off the brackets and that equals to one decimal place 47.2 47.2 and that is the answer